Alright guys, welcome back to another video. It's Derek and Crystal from Simnet Nutrition and today we have a really fun video. I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day, but it's a sort of different version of it. So Derek was challenged to the Dr. Greger Daily Dozen um, by Jeff from Guilt Free TV and Ferdinand from Vegan Strength. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. Yeah, I'll put their links down below. If you guys don't know of them, definitely check them out. They're um, all into like the vegan whole food lifestyle and also working out and everything. They're really great guys and have some really, really good content as well. So Dr. Greger's Daily Dozen is an app actually mm -hmm. that he's come out with and you can explain uh, what it's all about. Sure, so the <laughs> Daily Dozen are basically like 12 foods that Dr. Greger has decided uh, that are the most impactful foods uh, to positively impact our health that we can be eating. And he's made an app where you can easily track those 12 foods and make sure that you're getting in them into your daily regime. So you can see the app is really simple. It's just got some boxes where you check them off after you've had a serving of that food or that type of food. And then he's also got exercise in there and a few other things. So we'll be going through it in more detail. But uh, yeah, we've already exercised today. Let's so check it off. Let's check it off. So. We checked exercise off. I don't know if you guys can see that. And we've we, had a couple of glasses of water already yeah. today. Well, it's just me. We're, we're, so that's the thing is that we're kind of, <laughs> we're doing this as if it's just Derek, but yeah. I'm, I'm here too to be like, hey, this is what I eat as well. <laughs> we pretty much eat like this every day. Yeah, we but, always incorporate um, these foods into our diet, but it's just gonna be fun to track them. I've probably had maybe two liters at least of water already today, maybe two and a half liters. All right. Um, but that's including my, uh, like what I drank during my workout. So we'll just say it's like a liter so far. And I think that probably- We'll just check two. Sorry, our cat is just everywhere. It's really cool. This app is really cool because it'll say you need to get, or you should be getting three servings of beans a day. And you're like, what? I don't understand. And you press the little icon and it gives you um, a bunch of info on what a serving of beans would be or what you can expect. So it would be, let's go to Imperial. So a quarter cup of hummus is a serving or half a cup of cooked beans is a serving. So that's really cool. So I'm about to make a smoothie bowl and it's obviously gonna check a bunch of those boxes off. So I'm gonna get all the ingredients out and make that and we'll check off some boxes and see how we did. But something feels weird. Doesn't feel quite right, does it, it about feel, this? Doesn't feel quite right. I know what it is. What? This is sec. Okay. Ah, that's better. Perfect. Nutritionfacts.org. You always gotta rep it. Gotta represent. Gotta represent. All right, let's do this. I'm starving. Okay, so here's everything that's going in the post-workout smoothie bowl. Um, we have two bananas, one fresh, one frozen. We've got some berries, two cups of berries. We have two pitted medjool dates. We've got some black pepper and some turmeric. That's gonna account for our spices that he has in there. We've got a bit of almond milk to get everything going. And then I have some ground flaxseed. So I know that Dr. Gregor isn't the biggest fan of like blended smoothies and smoothie bowls, but I think he'd be pretty proud of this setup right here. <laughs> Two big spoonfuls of flax. Lots of berries. So many berries. At least a serving there. That's definitely two serving. Should we get some greens in it? All right, that's like three big handfuls of greens. That should count for something. <laughs> Couple check marks out of that. All right, so the greens that I put in there was baby kale, because I know you guys are gonna be asking in the comments. And then I'm gonna put on some granola that we made. This is like a dehydrated granola. So we're gonna be using that as uh, some whole grains because we used whole rolled oats for it. So if you guys have a food dehydrator, try making granola and it's so good. Like basically we just blended up a whole bunch of bananas and mixed in some oats and some berries and I think a bit of cinnamon as well. And then you just dehydrate it overnight and you have like the best oil-free, like low-fat, sugar-free granola you've ever had in your life. So I'm gonna fire some of that in there. Other fruits, definitely got two of those already. Cruciferous veg. Kale, uh, boom. Other vegetables? No. No. Black seed? No nuts. Spices. Whole grains. Because you put that uh, oatmeal on. Yeah. B12? B12. And vitamin D? 
Yeah, I guess we gotta go outside today. We or gotta we go can outside. take a supplement. We have we do have a vitamin D supplement. I'll show you guys what we have. So here's the vegan vitamin D3 that we use throughout the winter, but the sun is shining now, so we'll probably be going outside. Yay! Blue skies! <laughs> So we'll get outside a little bit today as well and get some vitamin D, but yeah, that's what we use. Vegan vitamin D3. So you guys can see that we've already checked off 10 of the 24 boxes. We're not even past breakfast yet. We're doing pretty awesome, <laughs> still. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy this and then we'll see you guys for lunch and we'll check off some more boxes. All right, so the day's passing by pretty quickly and I've gotta get another meal in before dinner. And I think I'm just gonna make like a bit of a snack plate. So I was looking through the app here and seeing what I need to get in for the rest of the day. And you can see I haven't got any check marks for my beans yet. And then we've got some cruciferous vegetables still to eat, some greens, other veggies, and some nuts, some whole grains. Gotta drink some water. Oh, I just had some water. So I'm gonna do another check mark there. And then we gotta get outside. So I'm going to make this, and then I'm gonna get outside for a little sunshine. So all these ones will be easy to clear at dinner, but um, the beans I'm a little worried about. So I checked to see what qualifies uh, for beans, and one quarter cup of hummus is one serving. So I definitely have some homemade hummus here that I made a few days ago, and um, I think there's probably about a half a cup, maybe even more, so um, that'll count for two servings of beans. So I'm gonna have half a cup of hummus with some chopped up veggies and then I'll have some like nuts and seeds on the side as well so we can check off some of those boxes. And I'm also going to throw in this handful of nuts and seeds so we can check off that category. We've got a Brazil nut in there, got some almonds, pumpkin, and sunflower seeds. So in this hummus is just chickpeas, tahini, some lemon juice, and then some herbs and spices that I put in there as well. So there's no oil or anything in that. I know you guys are gonna ask, what's in the tahini? So that's it, super easy to make. I'm sure you guys know how to make it, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna enjoy this snack, and then I'm gonna get outside and get some sunshine. Oh, but now we gotta check off all our boxes. So this is the fun part here. <laughs> all right, so that counts as two servings of beans. Other fruits, do we have other fruits in there? Crystal, is pepper a fruit or a vegetable? Hey Siri, is a bell pepper a fruit or a vegetable? Checking on that, okay. I found this on the web for is a bell pepper a fruit or a vegetable? Bell peppers are actually fruits and so are cucumbers, green beans, and some other stuff. Okay, all right, so it's a fruit. Uh, and then we've got cucumber in there as well, which is another fruit. I thought those were vegetables, that's why I was getting those in there. Okay, so uh, we've cleared all the fruit for the day, that was easy. Cruciferous vegetables. Uh, oh, we got cabbage. Awesome. And I should say that purple cabbage, red cabbage. I always say that. Let's make a petition to rename this purple cabbage. Are you guys with me? <laughs> Anyways, Dr. Gregor loves the red cabbage. He says that it is the most antioxidant bang for your buck out of any vegetables that we're eating. So get lots of purple cabbage in your diet. So then looking at what we have left, we have some more greens to eat, other veggies we have to eat today. Oh, we've got the nuts and seeds in there right now. We've got to get a couple servings of whole grains in, and then I've got to drink some more water. I got to get outside in the sunshine. So good. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I'm gonna go outside, and get some sunshine so I can tick off that vitamin D box. All right, so I'm gonna go on my slack line over there. It's right in the sun right now, it's perfect. And uh, Coco, he's gonna get a little exercise in as well, and he's gonna be chasing these pine cones. It's a pretty cool little uh, trick he does. Cookie.
Right. I would say that that counts for some sunshine. All right, so I'm gonna do some work until dinner and then I'll see you guys then and we'll check off the rest of these boxes. All right, guys, so we got Team Nutrition Facts here in the kitchen for dinner. <laughs> so um, what do we have to check off still, Crystal? So it looks like a serving of beans. Yep. A serving of greens. Uh, two servings of other vegetables. Cool. A uh, couple servings of whole grains, and then you need to drink some more water. Yes, I've had some more water since then, so okay. you can. We'll check off another one. For beans, I think we have a can of black beans, so I'm going to open up these and definitely have some black beans. And then we've got some greens going to go in there, anyways, always on top of a bed of, a bed of greens. And then other vegetables, uh, that'll be easy. I'll grate some carrot avocado in there, some tomatoes, that sort of thing. And then what else do we have? Yeah, I know it's hard because there's grains. so many vegetables, so it's like, which ones to use? Yeah, we'll get through the <laughs> other veggies, easy. Whole grain, I'm gonna use quinoa for dinner tonight uh, for the whole grain. I know it's a seed, but uh, the nutritional content is a lot more similar to a grain, so that's why uh, it's considered a grain on this app. Yeah, quinoa, right there. <laughs> All right, so let's get making this dinner. Um, I'll add some spices and stuff and uh, some sauce and whatnot, and I'll show you guys that along the way. And I will eat it. <laughs> so when I cook quinoa, I always rinse it really well first, so that'll be the first thing I'm doing. I'll get that on the stove. All right, so now that the quinoa is on the stove, I'm gonna chop up a bunch of other veggies for like a little salad that I'm gonna have on the side. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a really quick, simple little salad dressing that you can make without having to blend it up. So here we go. We'll start out with a good splash of apple cider vinegar. And then we're gonna add a bit of maple syrup. I'm gonna put in some ground flaxseed. This is really gonna help thicken up the sauce. Then you wanna add some spices. So here I have paprika, some black pepper, some cumin as well. And if you wanted to add garlic powder and onion powder, it'd be really, really good with this. However, I'm not sure how those affect my digestion, so I'm going easy on the garlic powder and onion powder these days, and it seems to be working out for me. And Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like to add mustard to my sauces. It seems to make everything mix up really nicely and tastes really good in there as well. Gives it a good bite. So, good scoop of that in there. Next. And then as you let it sit there, the flax seeds are going to thicken the sauce. So in a few minutes, we'll come back and it'll be quite a bit thicker. All right, so now that we have the salads made, some salad dressing, we gotta check on the quinoa, see how it's doing. And it's looking perfect. Whoa, fogged you guys out there. It's looking really good, nice and fluffy. And then just like how you add the lime to the coconut, you add the beans to the quinoa. All right, I made a game time decision there to add some green peas to the whole mix. It's gonna be really good. So yeah, it was a really fun challenge. I really enjoyed doing this. I hope you guys liked this video as well. Uh, and I just wanna say thank you to nutritionfacts.org and to Dr. Gregor for everything that they're doing because they are doing such amazing things for this movement. It's unbelievable and uh, they've been like a consistent resource for me, for Crystal throughout her journey and it's really amazing knowing that I can just tell people, go to nutritionfacts.org and search for yourself yeah. and I know that they're gonna find the best information possible, science-backed, evidence-backed research information. So I love you guys, Dr. Gregor, you're unbelievable. Thank you for doing what you guys do. I know you guys put in a lot of time, a lot of effort to get through all those studies. All right, so dinner is ready. You can see we have some big, huge, delicious bowls. We checked all those boxes easily today, but that's a really cool app. It's really simple and it's a good way to track to make sure that you're getting in all the nutritious food that you should be in a day. And it actually like gave me some ideas for dinner because I was like, hey, what should I have? And I'm like, hey, yeah. I gotta eat a couple more grains. I'll have some quinoa, have to get some beans in there. And then I knew we had beans. So it kind of helped me put it. 
So just that we were nominated for this challenge, as part of it we're supposed to nominate some other people. So we had some ideas in mind, some friends of ours that we thought would be cool to nominate if you guys are into it. If you guys want to do it, cool. If not, no worries. But we want to challenge uh, our really good friends, John Venus and Catherine. Woo! <laughs> Um, know that they'll kill this. This will be really fun for them. Well, these are all our friends, but we want to yeah. challenge Maddie Limburner as well because this is totally up her alley and I think she'll do some really fun things with the Daily Dozen. And same with Brian Turner. So yeah. if you guys are up for it, we challenge you. All good friends of ours, all really good people. If you guys don't know their channels, there'll be links in the description down below. Check them out. But I'm sure if you guys know of me, you know of them as well. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Let's go eat dinner. I hope you guys like this. We had fun filming it. Definitely <laughs> let us know in the comments down below what you guys thought of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. We'll see you guys soon with another video. Any last words? Yeah. Can't wait to meet you, Dr. Gregor. We're going <laughs> to meet you one day. Nice. <laughs>